This is Ralphie. Ralphie, let go. A fiery Frenchie who's earned the nickname Demon Dog after being returned three times to the Niagara SPCA. The no-kill shelter getting honest in a post about the, quote, terror in a somewhat small package, saying he's a whole jerk, not even half, adding that the ideal home for Ralphie is the mother of dragons. When he would kind of lock in on something he didn't, you know, understand or like whatever it was, uh, you know, some dogs want to run away. He was kind of like, let's go at it and destroy it. <laughs> Ralphie was just a dog where, hey, you got in his way, you just became that target. Ralphie the Demon Dog sent to a boot camp appropriately titled How to Train Your Dragon, where he stayed for five weeks with trainer Chris Fields. The 26-pound pooch working on impulse control, obedience, and behavioral rehab. Do you think Demon Dog was a fair nickname for Ralphie? I mean, now, no. Is he a bit of a jerk? Sure. But now he's a jerk with a home. Moving in with a new owner, who's also a dog trainer, and four canine siblings. Ralphie's still getting used to that couch, though. And while most rescues don't reach a demon-level diagnosis, Chris says we can all learn something from Ralphie's success story. Know what type of energy you're looking for. You know, obviously, when you're rescuing, who knows what the breed is? It could be 10 different dogs, but ask them, like, hey, how... Is this a high energy dog? Ralphie, for example, very high energy. And once you bring your pup home, they say give a dog two weeks to decompress. Okay, that doesn't mean let them run your house for two weeks. It means go back to some easy stuff. Our expert says to use that two week period to play fetch with your dog's food, to work on eye contact exercises. And remember that a leash is like your training wheels in this situation. Don't take it off too soon and give up that control, Andrew and Rhiannon. Some good advice there. Also, some other tips for if you're bringing a, a new dog home is patience. Patience Ooh. really is key. Patience is key. Away. Also, limit how much of your home your dog can access at first. That way, it can't chew everything up and drive you crazy. And if all else fails, you send them to Dragon Camp. <laughs> I think they called that. There. More news next. Stay with us. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.